So I'm revisiting Club Serena here behind me. I haven't been here for like nearly 10 years. So we're gonna have a look and see how much has changed. If it's got better, if it's got worse, let's find out. The resort has had a few changes since my previous visit and it's also got some new ownership. So let's take a look at Club Serena. Mobile Cebu is one of the best destinations for adventure seekers in the Philippines. That includes a canyoneering trekking, which is not too far away from the resort, as you can see on the map, and it's done along the Kawasan River. An amazing must-do tour in Cebu, something you'll never forget. The tour finishes up at the beautiful Kawasan Falls, a perfect way to end the tour. Other fantastic things to do in this area include the sardine run at Pagnasama Beach, which is just a short trip away from the resort. Here you can witness thousands of sardines forming amazing shapes and patterns in the waters. It's a surreal experience that you can enjoy all year round. Looking at the resort itself, it's located in the more quieter area of Mobile at White Beach. Just to mention that Pagnasama Beach is a more touristy and busy area. Now, if you want a taxi driver, I will give you the number of the one I'm taking if you need to contact someone. And just to note, I'm going on a Sunday, so traffic is pretty good. So if you ever want to travel somewhere from the city, go on a Sunday, there's less traffic. Hopefully you won't get too much traffic as it's a fairly long ride. So before you arrive, you have to pay this tourist fee, which I thought would go to improving roads, etc. But the road going to Serena is just the same old dirt road that I remember 10 years ago. Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to Club Serena Resort. Enjoy a welcome drink and a cookie when you check in. So you have 30 minutes uh, paddleboard and kayak sir and it's available 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can use the swimming pool by 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. sir. We've got two pools? Yeah, uh, we have three swimming pools sir. The kiddie pool, the 11 feet and the 8 feet sir. Okay. And what other facilities do you have? You've got a dive shop? Um, we have partner dive shop sir in Panagsama which is the Seven Seas. There's we have uh, snorkeling goggles and swimming fins sir which is 1,000 for both per day. Um, as of now, we have massage, sir, which is 1,000 for one hour. Is that in, in room or...? Yeah, in yeah. room, sir, as of now, in room. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have restaurant. It's open 6.30 a.m. to 10 p.m., sir. Last order is 9 p.m. Okay. Then we have happy hour. It's open 2 to 5 p.m. So transport to Pagna Summer Beach? Uh, you can take a tricycle, sir. Uh, it costs 300 per way going to Panagsama. Uh, and you can organize it. Yes, sir. We have a contact driver for that. But you don't rent out scooters here? Um, actually, we have scooters, but we will just check if there is available uh, okay, today. So you, and how much do you charge a day for that? Um, for the scooter, sir, we will charge 700 per day. Okay. So it's located right on the beachfront. So let's look at that first. So this is outside the front of Club Serena. Now, the weather here isn't the greatest. It's quite windy. The waters are choppy. I was hoping to get out and do some snorkeling, but it's just too rough at the moment. Maybe tomorrow I'll try that out. But out the front here, it looks not too bad. It's September, so the weather isn't the greatest this time of year. The weather can be a bit hit and miss at this time of year. And the drone footage I'm showing now is the next day when the weather was a bit better. So I wanted to show you White Beach. It's the most popular beach in this area due to the fact that it's the best beach here. Most tourists visit the corner area where the beach is at its widest. Normally day trippers or tourists coming from Pagna Summer Beach just for the day. It's only a short walk from Club Serena. So behind me here is White Beach, you see this is probably the most popular area because it's actually got white sand here, got the cottages over here and then just people chilling, enjoying the beach over here. So the weather here isn't so great, it's September. There's a bit of wind around, it's choppy water. Welcome to Paradise White Beach. This one? Pillar? Uh, 50. 50 for the shells. Yeah, yeah. On the weekends, particularly Sundays, it's quite busy. During the week, less so. Anyhow, it's still a relaxing place no matter what time you come. So this is what it looks like when the sun is shining. So much better than the other days I've had here. Looks beautiful. So the beach here is okay. The sand here is a bit broken. Little bits of coral, so it's not that fine white sand. But most people, when they come here, is what's out there under the water. The corals, the fish, the turtles. 
That's what people come for. Other than those land adventures that I showed before. And when the sun is out, what a difference the water can look like. And this is during the week without the crowds. So much nicer. It's like night and day difference. So I did try out their kayaking and a little bit of snorkeling. I had one of the resort staff come out and help guide me. The snorkeling at the front of the resort was okay, but I thought it was far better, or at least where I did it, at Pagna Summer Beach. I did see one turtle though. Now they did have some cottages here and they told me that they were destroyed in the typhoon and they've never replaced them. Uh, hi. 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 Um, in Malboal. You're from Surrey City? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So how's Malboal? Well, nice. it's, it's very nice. Um, Beach-wise, it's really cool. And, you know, the, the sand is, is, is really nice too. So, and I can say the weather is really good. So. Yeah, it got some good weather. So come and enjoy the paradise in Malboal. So you're, I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy it here. Very nice. Yeah, it's very nice too. Thank you. Let's look around the front of the resort. So by the fence here, they've got some tables and chairs set up so you can enjoy the breezes from the ocean. Just perfect. So I'm outside by their pool and it looks a lot different from what I remembered. It's a lot larger now. Added on this extra ring around the pool. This is like a kiddies pool before it was just that center part. Wondering, that little mermaid they had here is over in the back. It got damaged during the typhoon. So you have two choices, the pool or the beach in front. Tennis court behind me. Now they used to have rooms here as well. I can't remember the name of the rooms that they had here, but obviously they knocked them down now and they've got this tennis court. It wasn't quite open when I was there though, but opening very soon. So behind me is their restaurant here. The differences here are the shutters that they used to have around the restaurant here. They were damaged during the typhoon a couple of years ago and now it's all open air. Uh, welcome to Club Serena Mirror Restaurant. If I'm <laughs> going <laughs> You can try our signature dish, our Serena South Sea Curry. Come and enjoy our food here at Mira Restaurant. They've got some new furniture since my last visit, some subtle changes, but overall pretty much how I remembered it. I did ask about their signature South Sea Curry, but I got those dreaded words, I'm sorry, out of stock, which was disappointing, particularly that I did stay two nights and we're right next door to the ocean. Anyhow, the other dishes I did try were decent enough. So the breakfast here is set when they don't have a buffet and it's a bit of lunganiza, scrambled eggs, lumpia and fish fillet. It also came with mushroom soup. I did ask for toast the next day and without the sausages and the breakfast also came with seasonal fruit. You can look at the menu for the full list of dishes offered. There's plenty of options to choose from with a lot of local and some international cuisines as well as desserts and cakes. And there's also lots of choices of drinks, both alcoholic and non. Just to mention, they also have Wi-Fi throughout the resort. The speeds were okay. There's also board games on offer. Now in my previous video, just here they had a couple cottages. I can't remember what they were called, but they've knocked them down. They are building some other accommodation over here. And I'm sure they'll post updates in their Facebook pages. So the two nights I'm staying here, I'm staying in one of the casita rooms, so I'll show you around this one. I will show you some of the other rooms later on in a sec. So in this entry area, I've got a little desk to sit down at, and the mini bar, and also tea and coffee making facilities. So the mini bar here is fully stocked. So these are the massages they offer, and the mini bar prices. Coffee and complimentary water was here as well. Then as we go into the room, this particular casita's got two single beds. There's also an option with this room type with a one bed, and I'll show you that shortly. Two comfortable beds, perfect for couples who are angry with each other. So only this bed has got the TV. If you're staying over on this bed, you're gonna have to stretch your neck a bit like ET. The casitas are the newest rooms here, which went around when I stayed here the other time. And because they're new, I do like them. This now is the bathroom. It's nice, clean, and modern. It came with a standard toiletries and both a shower and bathtub. All the bathroom features are brand new, so there's no issues with anything in the bathroom. So the view you get from this particular room, and you can see it through the camera, you get the pool basically. I can't really see the ocean at all. So it's kind of a cute little, sassy little place to stay at here. And just to show you the other casita that they have on offer, this is the one with a one king bed set up, opposed to mine, which had the two single beds. The bathroom had the same facilities, and again, I liked it. So this house has got the family suite at the back, and then, the ocean suite at the front here. Let me show you around here. 
Hi, good morning. Welcome to Ocean Family Room. And this is when a two twin bed and one king bed. So at the entrance was the living area, and then to the right was the bedroom. So this is an older room, but very spacious. The room had one main bed and two single beds. The bathroom came with a hot and cold water shower, and it looked okay. It also had the attic where you could have an extra mattress. If they have more gas, uh, this one is the cold is attic, you put mattress down. So through this door here, it can be an interconnecting room, which is the ocean suite, or you can book it as two separate rooms, or you can book it as the whole house. So this is a room with a view, look at that. So this is the ocean suite room that's good for two and it offers the best views in the resort. On the balcony there's some lounge beds to enjoy that fantastic view as well as feeling those sea breezes. Inside it's a nice and spacious room with a king bed and imagine walking out to this view every day. Perfect. It had a kitchen but at the time of the video it wasn't fully operational as yet. So at the moment the kitchen is not usable. They're planning on bringing it online soon so just check their website or Facebook page but at the moment that's what their plans are to open this up so you can actually cook in here. It came with a wardrobe with robes and safe. The bathroom had a bathtub and shower and the standard toiletries again. Moving over to the other pool where the other accommodation is located. This used to be called the chairman's room when I last stayed. It's now called the deluxe poolside, which is on the ground level. It's a good sized room and it's still decent enough. And like the other rooms, a good sized bathroom with bathtub and shower. Upstairs is a merman room or they call it now the premium deluxe with a two bed set up. Again, a decent room with the standard facilities that the other rooms had and the bathroom too had a shower and a bathtub and there's a patio out the front of the room. Now looking at the tree house, which comes with a balcony that wraps around the room. One part of the balcony has table and chairs set up. Inside it has one king bed and two single beds set up. This particular room was here last time I stayed. From memory, they have made some subtle changes to the bedding and decor to give it a more modern feel. The bathroom had a bathtub and separate shower again, and decent enough. On the website, you can find out more on the rooms. I tried to check the rates, but it came up with a blank screen, even when I refreshed it. They are pretty good at answering through their Facebook page, and they also show the various promos they have at any given time. Here are the published rates. You can also book through third-party sites as well. To sum up, the resort I would rate as above average. It's a mid-range resort, and it's a place you want to stay if you want to be away from the action of Pangna Summer Beach, so it offers a more quieter stay. Now, if you're looking for a place that's really unique to stay in Cebu, I recommend watching this video on screen now. It's an amazing tree house by the river, and if you want that Lord of the Rings vibe, this might be a perfect staycation for you. Or how would you like to wake up with the roar of the lions? In this video, I'll show you how you can experience a safari adventure in Cebu, where you can stay in a cozy lodge surrounded by exotic animals. If that intrigues your interest, I highly recommend you watching this video. I'll see you there.